Hi friends, welcome to ET. I hope you are all enjoying your fantastic day. Today we are going to discuss an interesting topic in electronic devices that is voltage follower or voltage buffer. It is also called unity gain amplifier. Generally this voltage buffer is a voltage control voltage source that is in this device this device is having an input resistance of almost all ideally speaking infinite ohm and output resistance of ideally speaking zero ohm by this thesis we can easily conclude that this device is acting as a resistance transformer resistance transformer now let us consider the schematic diagram of this device generally this voltage buffer is constructed by using a well known mathematical operation operator or electronic device called op amp as you know this operational amplifier is used in various applications like constructing differentiation Uh, differentiator integrator and this is a well known practical use that is called voltage buffer here this is our load resistance this is the schematic diagram now by observing this thing we can easily conclude that the amplification factor that means the feedback factor of this device a beta is equal to 1 by this we can calculate now the closed loop gain of the device that is closed loop gain is equal to forward gain that is equal to transfer function is a by 1 plus a beta where a is the internal amplification gain of the operational amplifier as you know the internal amplification gain of an operational amplifier is very high that is almost all equal to 10 power 6 times that is 1 by 1 plus 10 power 6 into 1 as i said earlier the feedback factor is 1 now if you conclude if you neglect this one by comparison we will get almost all 10 power 6 by 10 power 6 that is equal to 1 this is the major achievement by this device that is gain is equal to 1 why because in practical world the achievement of this thing a equal to 1 is highly impossible let me prove how it is let us consider a source s which is having an output voltage of vx and let us consider a load which is waiting for a voltage which is provided by the source now how can you transfer this entire voltage delivered by the source across the load let us consider if they were joined by two wires are you sure that this entire voltage is vx here no that is wrong why because there is no source in the practical world which is having internal i mean which is having its output voltage its output resistance that is almost all equal to zero and there is no load in the practical world which is having its internal resistance that is almost all equal to infinite so in order to overcome this problem let me give you a brief explanation what i have said earlier let us consider a circuit which is having 10 volt and which is having a source resistance of let us consider 9 kilo ohm and let us consider the load resistance of almost all equal to 1 kilo ohm okay in practical world this is the circuit which is representing the thevenin equivalent thevenin equivalent of a microphone that is source and this one is our load which is a speaker in the practical world now if you want to observe the voltage delivered by the source which is going to the 
load if you want to observe the voltage across this load let us calculate let us consider this one as vl let us calculate the voltage vl that is equal to by applying simple voltage division law we will get vl is equal to total voltage which is delivered by the source into the resistance where you are observing the voltage by the sum of the resistances that is 9k plus 1k that is 10k by 10k that is equal to 1 c you are expecting that is load is expecting our speaker is expecting almost all 10 volts which is delivered by the source but we are getting only one volt the remaining voltage is taken by this 9k resistance that is the major problem in a simple wiring circuit so in order to overcome this problem we use buffers let me construct the same problem by using an operational amplifier minus and plus this is our operational amplifier which is having a output V0 the same circuit is representing here this is the source resistance 9 kilo ohm and this is the voltage source which we are providing almost all 10 volt and this is our load resistance that is speaker RL that is equal to 1 kilo ohm now by observing this figure we can easily conclude that the operational amplifier is having a negative feedback so by applying the virtual ground concept this voltage is 10 volt and the negative voltage and the positive voltage is equal to negative over terminal so that is 10 volt this 10 volt is appearing almost all here and this 10 volt is appearing across our load resistance so we easily this load resistance by this process had already drawn easily drawn this 10 volts from the source so from this we overcome the above problem this is called impedance matching see generally let us consider the amplification device this is a source and this is a resistance internal resistance of our amplifier and this is the external resistance of an amplifier this is our load resistance in practical world this is microphone and this is amplifier that is our buffer voltage buffer and this is speaker let us consider this one as 10 volt this is rs generally as i said earlier the voltage buffer as i said in the beginning of the, my class the voltage buffer will have ideally infinite resistance internal infinite resistance but let us consider practically it will be 1 giga ohm that is very high when compared to 9 kilo ohm and here it is almost all zero so it will be at most let us consider 0.2 ohm and this is our 1 kilo ohm resistor practically there will, the sources the speakers will have almost all 4 ohm or 8 ohm they are very bad at resistance value so now almost all 10 volt will appear here and this 10 volt will appear here that is k into 10 volt and this 10 volt will appear here so by this we achieved the problem we had got a greatest solution for the above problem thank you for watching this video bye